Well, everybody, welcome back to Backroads County. We are back, and I am going to collect my, let's see, grape juice and tomato juice. Had my greenhouses going with my tomatoes. Had my uh, grape orchards over there. Put me in a little garage, a little barn area. Couldn't find the light switch, so these handy dandy little lights right here are from uh, decorations under lights. It was a mod that had a bunch of lights, and these were pretty good. You just when you go up there, click on them, go to the top of the building, and start putting them in from the top. You just click them like you're placing them, and this is where they come down to. It actually was high enough where the trailer could get through. This is my great vehicle. It's a lizard supercharged. And what I did was, it won't haul this trailer by itself. So, there is a mod. Um, it's on there somewhere. It's a trailer hitch, universal trailer hitch. You put that on the truck, just back it up, put it on the truck, and then you can back up to this trailer and it will haul the trailer. Alone, it will not. Well, let's go, uh, let's go see if I can get some great juice from the Great Juice Factory. There's a couple ways in. We're down by farm 24 and 25. There's a couple little areas across this, this creek somewhere. Oh, I can't see. Here we are. Let's go across right here. Got a few factories going on. I don't know if we're going to get to it. This game has crashed since the last time I was on here doing the uh, animals. This is episode two. So in episode one, like I said it would, it did crash. So I had to redo everything, you know, upload everything, do everything again. Yeah, and the, you know what. Luckily I save all the time, so it only went back so far. But anyway, let's get some tomato juice before it crashes. Kind of curious. And now we're going to see if this trailer is thinking we can it all up the same time. And we're going to get as much as we can of it because I want to get the grape juice out of here too. Come on, man. Why it's doing that? Let me see if I can find it. There it is. Uh, let me turn off what we're filling up now. Tomato juice. Let me turn that off. So when it's done filling, uh, hopefully it don't spawn anymore. Then I can start the. Uh, I'll start the grape juice actually. Ever since these updates, ever since these two updates came out, there ain't been crap working right. I've never had a problem with this. I, this is this is why I I use certain things like everybody else. This is my go-to trailer. I usually I just sit right here. I can just sit here and this is already loaded. It's just a bunch of stuff is just crashing not working everything I don't know why they somebody got a wild hair thinking that they could do better and update stuff to what add a little light to something and it messed up the whole game I don't know I'm getting just a little bit too carried away on these updates way too many updates and usually the trigger comes up on this little cell point 
Well, we'll try. Okay, it took it. Sometimes it flings it out there in the middle of the field. Well, on a full trail, almost full trail, we need 88,000. Not, not bad. Uh, it needs to go a little faster here, though. Bridge. Come on, here. Uh, I don't know what that is. I think it's corn flour. Ooh, corn flour. Big trade. Hit them, good lord. If I hit them, then I'll just fucking crash for two days. I didn't know we had that much uh, tomato juice. Let's get it on there, boys. Got the uh, tomato juice turned off, grape juice is on. We want the this now to go to drilling, distributing. Now, this to storing, and by the time we come back, we should have some grape juice ready to go. Go by the bridge, we we'll sell this. Eighty-one thousand. So we made one hundred sixty-seven thousand in tomato juice on just two little runs. Not bad. Not bad. A little side income. A little side income. See how much grape juice we can get on here.
come on. Point here with this trailer. Come on, these updates are messing up my program. Oh, leave things alone. I'm not updating anything anymore. They push out all these updates. I'm just going to let them sit in there. If it's working fine for me, I'm not updating. Like they update this trailer tomorrow, I'm not updating. Not unless they say, oh, because it's not loading. You know, well, maybe I will then. But on the normal, just because it comes out and they want you to update stuff, I wouldn't update it. If it ain't broke, I ain't fixing it. So you're fixing it, because it ain't fixing nothing. All these, the maps, if a map has an update, the first time, I might run it. If they have to do a second update on there for some, I ain't doing it. And if they're only updating it, oh, well, we got new lights, or we got new this, unless it's something major, I'm not updating a file or uh, a map or a mod that's already working for me. I'm not updating them no more because it seems like whatever they're updating it with, whether it's Giants or it's a second, third party, somewhere in there, their stuff is getting in to our programs and messing it up. I don't think it's just on John. I don't think it's on the, the, it may not even be on the maker. I think it's whatever they're updating it or whatever they're pushing in there to make something else work for somebody or something. Somebody's bright idea about making it better. I think something's tagging along with them and they're not being able to catch it because it's on a third leg. You know what I mean? It's somewhere on the other strain that they're bringing in that it's, that's why they're not catching. It. That's why they're going through all this testing. Yeah, it's passing just enough, but what happens is when I start playing, I'm saying me, is that I may have a combination of a, a mod or two that doesn't want to interact with what they just updated it with. So when they're testing it, yeah, I don't know what they got there, what they're testing it. They may not have any of this stuff on there when they're testing it. I don't know if they have everything downloaded, all the mods, all the maps, so that when they do, running through the test, everything is interacting together. I don't believe they're doing that. Or if they are, you're just not catching it. Or they're letting it go through. I rant and rave because, you know, I mean, we it's a game. Hey, if you don't like it, don't play it. But you gotta look, you gotta look past that mentality and that, you know, that wise crack everybody makes about that. Yeah, that's fine and dandy, but I paid for the game. So I do have an expected expectation of it working and the people that are doing it know what they're doing I mean that's your job right it's not my job I have no idea I'm not a real farmer either the real farmers doing it or you know they're not doing what we're doing in the game so cut that crap out too saying well that's not real farming well you're unless you're a real farmer you're not real farming on this game and if you are a real farmer farming on this game you know this is ridiculous, so don't talk crap. It's just a fun game. It's a fun game until you get people on here or things on here. But yeah, I know it's not going to work, right? It's a game. It's electronics. But when you come on here saying, "Hey, we got this, we got that, we're the best, and this is the way," no, that then you're just you know setting yourself up for failure right there. Because then you got people like me that don't know nothing about it. But that's the whole idea. You're making this game for people that have no clue about how to make a map or a mod. That's the point. I don't want to know. I don't want to know how you made this. I don't want to know all the little schematics and crap, math, and all that you had to do to make it. All I do is put the quarter in, push the button, hope the music plays. I don't go in there and ask how they turntable works, how electronic, how you get airwaves over the, in the air and space, I don't care. 
I want it to work, just like my phone. Don't care. That's who you are making this for. That's who's on here. That's who's on here. And you know, you got the smart Alex and everybody knows everything. Got the PCs going on. Oh, we know what we're doing. Hey, you don't know what you're doing because I be watching the streams. You know what you're doing when it comes to harvesting a wheat field, because that's all you do. Every time I get on there, I watch two hours of harvesting a wheat field. And it seems like every time, oh, okay, we're harvesting a wheat field, harvesting a wheat field. Okay, then five, six, you know, episodes of two or three hour streams go by. Okay, what are we going to do now? We're going to bail that shit today. We're going to bail it. Then, okay, then I get stuck on a, a potato field or something, and I'm like, oh my God, we're going to watch potato harvest? Man, go to the dollar store. They're cheaper. They're easier to make. Just bounce it, man. Do something. At least once I got this map, I didn't jump into the wheat field. You know, I, I got more for the animals. But, you know, let's let's do something. Show us something. I'm doing this because this is all I know. I'm using the same stuff. If I'm doing it, show me something to make this gathering easier. These great, these great vines, great harvesting. Okay, them harvesters that we have for the grapes, olives, and that other map for the coffee beans. Yeah, somebody needs to come up with something else. We would do it more. There ain't nobody doing this. It takes me forever. It would take you forever to do these great fields where you get enough to fill it up. That's why I only put down three rows. I did them and then I filled the rest of it up. Same thing with these greenhouses. I set them. It's been a while. These are my tomatoes. I'll probably get some. Well, they need more water. Okay, so I got to go back and water them. But I mean, goodness gracious. Yeah, you want to try to stay as real to farming as you can. The concept of it's fine, but the application of it and you doing it. It's still a game. You need to make it more of a game. Yeah, it's real. I mean, we can do all this stuff. I don't know how to drive that tractor over there, but I do on this game. I don't have a Class A driver's license, but I'll drive one of them semis. Okay? Well... That's what you get when you watch me. I get to tell you, invent my stuff. That's good. I'm gonna vent. I'm gonna sit here and say lollipops and dog wagon tails and stuff. No. I'm getting on here saying exactly what everybody else is saying when they get on here. And I'm not talking about you uh, professional PC streamers and players. I'm talking about the regular folk. That's regular ones that, you know, we work hard. We work, you know, for a PC console, which is a lot of money for us you know we got to tell our kids they ain't getting bikes this summer because i wanted a console to play a dang game but i play this for my mental health which you can see this is how i get to vent my hamster and goldfish are like tired of listening to me but uh you know we can't afford them pcs pcs are two grand and up you ain't buying nothing cheaper two grand i don't care if you buy a cheap one it's going to fail on you you're going to have to upgrade it you're going to do upgrades as soon as you buy it you're going to start upgrading so you might as well start off with a two or three thousand dollar gaming PC. You can't go down to Walmart and buy their gaming PCs. It's not going to work. Oh, it'll work to get on here like I am, as far as I'm going. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. Don't get an expensive one then. Get the cheapest one on sale. They had a couple up for two, three hundred bucks. If that's all you're saying you want to do, you can play this on an iCore Five. You need an i7, which is getting ready to be, you know. The bottom of the deck, it's going to go from eight, i8 and above, 16 gigabyte, you know, I have them, I have, I have two computers, they got two and three terabytes a piece, they got all kinds of gigs, you know, they got 32, 64 gigabytes of data storage, I can do all that, you know, the ice stream layouts, the i7s, I got all that in there, I don't like playing it, I like playing on the console, this is where I, I started, this is what I like, and this is as far as I can go, as far as streaming videos, and that's as far as I can go. I don't, I'm not, I'm not savvy like that. I barely figured this out. <laughs> well, anyway, you have to catch me on episode three or four, if I do one. If this hit game crashes on me while I'm out here playing around, there won't be another episode. If there's another episode, I'll go until this thing crashes one more time. 
and it's starting to snow so when it snows and rains that usually a sign it's getting ready to crash but I hope you liked it uh, it's not real informative but it gives you something besides watching wheat being harvested and bales being drawn and TMR being made to the cows okay like share keep viewing I appreciate it I'm gonna try to build up I'm gonna see if one day I can get further along like the PC guys on console. I just want to see. I ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna do all that PC crap until it's called for. If they make it worth my while to get a PC, then I'll let you know. But so far, negative. Anyway, y'all have a good day. We'll see you on the next run. Bye.